Christmas tree, a wedding costume from Szechuan, and from Indonesia, a witch's mask. These objects all symbolize celebrations, those special moments of joy and ritual found among peoples all over the world. That's the theme of a stunning exhibition at the Smithsonian's Renwick Gallery in Washington. It seems that every culture celebrates special occasions in their life and their society. And these objects are all pulled from nine of the Smithsonian museums, and these objects have never been seen before, 95% of them. So from the attics and storerooms of the Smithsonian, almost 600 objects are on view for the first time. They speak of the unity of man, of the rites of passage, of birth, marriage, and death. And right here we have a quilt from Pauling, New York. It's a dowry object, and it is a dowry quilt made for Benoni Pierce. When we had selected the object, we thought it was basically just a lovely dowry quilt. But upon further research, we found that Benoni Pierce was a man, and it was made by his lady friends for a gift to his marriage. Drawn from 60 cultures around the world, the objects also illustrate man's diversity. This American mourning dress, for example, couldn't be more different from the Mexican altar for the feast, the Day of the Dead. And to our Western eyes, some objects almost go beyond understanding. As another way to enliven the exhibition, the Smithsonian's Folk Life program is staging living celebrations every month, like this Korean cooking demonstration. You just slice it through, then it comes out just like this. In all, it's truly a celebration of celebrations, and it will continue through June of 83 at the Renwick Gallery in Washington. Here at the Smithsonian, I'm Ann Carroll.